Hey there, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel where we explore the cutting edge world of innovation and its impact on our daily lives. Today, we have an incredibly exciting episode lined up for you. We're going to dive into the realm of mind blowing innovations that are revolutionizing the way we live, work, and play. Get ready to be amazed as we unveil five incredible inventions that are shaping our future. The Therminator is a robotic dog that has been fitted with a flamethrower. It was created by Ghost Robotics, a company that specializes in developing military robots. The Therminator is still in the prototype stage, but it has already been offered for sale to law enforcement agencies and the military. The Therminator is a 70-pound robot that is about 3 feet tall. It is powered by a battery and can run for up to 2 hours on a single charge. The flamethrower on the Therminator can shoot a stream of fire that is about 20 feet long. It has a thermal camera that allows it to see in the dark. It can be controlled remotely by a human operator. It is equipped with a variety of sensors, including a radar and a sonar system. It is designed to be used in dangerous or hazardous environments. The Therminator is a controversial robot, but it is a sign of the future of warfare. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see more and more robots being used in military and law enforcement applications. The Therminator has been met with mixed reactions. Some people believe that it is a dangerous weapon weapon that should not be sold to the public. Others believe that it could be a valuable tool for law enforcement and the military. It is unclear whether the Therminator will be approved for sale. The U.S. Department of Defense has not yet made a decision on whether to allow the sale of the robot. Guangzhou Automobile Group, a leading Chinese automobile manufacturer, recently unveiled its electric flying car, marking a significant milestone in the development of futuristic transportation. The company's innovation aims to merge the capabilities of an electric vehicle with vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, technology, enabling it to function both as a car and a flying aircraft. The electric flying car showcased by Guangzhou Auto offers a range of exciting features. It utilizes electric propulsion systems for sustainable and eco-friendly operations reducing carbon emissions compared to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. The VTOL technology allows the car to take off and land vertically, eliminating the need for runways or specialized infrastructure. The design of the electric flying car combines sleek aesthetics with practical functionality. It features retractable wings and rotors that enable the transition between driving and flying modes. In car mode, it operates as a typical electric vehicle capable of navigating urban environments. When switched to flying mode, the wings extend and the rotors engage, facilitating vertical takeoff and controlled flight. Guangzhou Auto has not yet disclosed the price and production time, stating that the commercial launch of the novelty will take a long time. While progress is evident, it may take time for such vehicles to become commercially available and widely adopted. Kibbit is an advanced telerobot specifically designed for immersive and interactive gaming experiences, particularly in fighting games. It leverages cutting-edge technology and virtual reality to offer a unique gameplay encounter to users. One of its standout features is its exceptional speed and responsiveness, as it boasts the fastest reaction time among telerobots. This enables players to execute precise and lightning-fast moves within the game, which is crucial in fighting games where split-second decisions determine success. Controlled using a VR controller, Kibbit provides an intuitive interface for players to command the robot's movements and actions. The VR controller enhances the gameplay experience by offering a natural and immersive control mechanism. Equipped with advanced sensors and actuators, Kibbit accurately replicates the player's movements in real-time, ensuring that actions performed by the player are faithfully reproduced by the robot within the virtual game environment. Inspired by a memorable scene in the movie Real Steel, the Kibbit researchers have developed a teleoperated bot that mimics the movements of a human fighter. With impressive speed and an unprecedented latency of just 12 milliseconds, Kibbit is likely the fastest teleoperated robot created thus far. It has been tested against an AI-guided opponent that learns and adapts during the fight. The Kibbit team focused on resolving issues related to the bot's mechanics and controller to achieve high speeds. They optimized the mass distribution, mechanical structure, actuation, and communications of the bot using a precise model of kinematics and dynamics. Additionally, a new controller was developed 
developed to proactively respond to movement commands from the VR controller, thereby reducing latency caused by other system components. Although the current Kibbit is a prototype, the robotics team behind the project has plans to create a new bot with arms and additional joints in the body. The impressive speed and capabilities of Kibbit to take on powerful opponents open up exciting possibilities for robotics technology in the realm of fighting games. Introducing Bjorn Cyborg. Witness the incredible speed and agility of this robotic tennis player as it zooms across the court, showcasing its skills just in time for the Wimbledon Championships. Bjorn Cyborg is a marvel of engineering and artificial intelligence. Its sleek design allows for maximum efficiency in movement, enabling lightning-fast dashes and precise turns. Equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, it effortlessly tracks the trajectory of the tennis ball, calculating the perfect timing and angle for each shot. With its robotic precision, Bjorn Bjorn Cyborg executes powerful serves that defy human capabilities. Its robotic arm can generate incredible spin and accuracy, leaving opponents amazed and spectators in awe. Its lightning-quick reflexes ensure lightning-fast returns, making it a formidable opponent on the court. But Bjorn Cyborg isn't just a powerhouse of athleticism, it's also a master strategist. Powered by sophisticated algorithms and machine learning, it analyzes opponents' playing styles and adapts its own strategies accordingly. This adaptability gives it a strategic strategic advantage, allowing it to outweigh human opponents and make split-second decisions for optimal gameplay. As Bjorn Cyborg takes center stage at the Wimbledon Championships, it marks a new era in the world of tennis. Its presence challenges traditional notions of sportsmanship, blurring the line between human and machine. While some may view this technological advancement with skepticism, others see it as an exciting glimpse into the future of sports, where man and machine can compete on equal footing. Who are you? I am an AI language model designed to assist and provide helpful responses to your inquiries. How may I assist you today? Artopia has unveiled the world's first e-bike integrated with ChatGPT at Eurobike 2023. The Artopia Carbon One is equipped with a bike computer that offers integration with ChatGPT. This groundbreaking innovation, together with other proprietary technology related to built-in GPS navigation, anti-theft, writing safety and data record firmly establishes Artopia as the leader of smart e-bike again. OpenAI's ChatGPT has only been open to the public since November last year, yet the artificial intelligence chat but already seems to be everywhere. At Eurobike last week, China's Artopia revealed its first application as an e-bike co-pilot. Artopia's control system is fully self-developed and integrated. As the first e-bike to feature voice recognition, Artopia can interact with ChatGPT through its advanced voice recognition technology, creating a truly intelligent and responsive bike experience. This innovative integration allows Artopia to be a bike with a mind, making it stand out from the rest. To be clear, this feature is not being made available to riders just yet, the e-bike announced at Eurobike was a demonstrator for Utopia's AIoT artificial intelligence of things technology and made use of the company's own ChatGPT enterprise account, which can't be shared with other users, but it could well be rolled out in the future. The M4 is a multimodal mobility morphobot developed by the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. It is an RC car-sized robot that can transform its structure to walk, drive, and fly. It is built with the latest electronics, motors, and a small computer that help it decide which shape to turn into. The M4 vehicle, an advanced prototype of a futuristic hybrid car drone, glides silently along the streets of Caltech's campus. It combines the agility and convenience of a car with the ability to take flight, allowing it to navigate effortlessly through various terrains and reach destinations that would otherwise be inaccessible. The team calls this versatile machine the Multimodal Mobility Morphobot M4, and in its basic stance it just looks like a robotic rectangle on four wheels. With these it can drive around pretty smoothly, or it can turn its wheels sideways on demand and spin up the propellers to lift off like a quadcopter. Those two modes of travel alone would be pretty useful, but M4 has a few more tricks up its sleeves. In four-wheeled mode it can lower its body to crouch, or it can lock the rotation of the wheels and move them in pain 
pairs in a kind of quadrupedal walking motion. A configuration with two wheels and two propellers can help it climb steep slopes or let it stand upright to scout ahead and plan its next moves. From that stance, it can either roll on two wheels or tumble end over end. This range of abilities could help robots like M4 autonomously navigate unfamiliar environments, including searching for survivors in a collapsed building or even exploring other planets.